good night, everyone. Welcome back to Lana's, Dr. Lana's Little Things with me, Dr. Lana, specialist gerontologist, talking all things aging, bridging generational gaps, you know the drill, life itself, entrepreneurship, living agelessly. How are you, wherever you are? So this week, we're going to be going into something that you may or may not have heard of, and uh, something that I've not talked about before. But it's got to do with life expectancy. Now, we all talk about life expectancy, but this is one with a twist. So it's an expression. Have you ever heard of it? So I'm going to ask you, what is your ERA? Mm -hmm. That is your expectation regarding aging. And why is that important? Because with the survey, several surveys that are being done, suggests that when it takes into account physical health, in overall hypertension, like non-communicable diseases, and just overall health in general, as well as not just physical health, but physical activity. So your physical function, your expectation regarding what is going to happen as you get older, and then your overall health. They're actually quite linked. Now I thought the three triplets first, I always say, are cholesterol, diabetes, hypertension. So we've got a new triplet, expectation regarding aging, physical activity, and general health outlook. So what do you want to think about? Let me talk all day long, you know, I can certainly talk all day long on what you would have heard before, which is diet, exercise, monitor, remember how old you are. We've done these things before. But think about it. We're living, thinking about living agelessly. What are you anticipating when you get older? Are you anticipating what old age comes with? Being in a chair, old age comes with inactivity, old age comes with me just to not wanting to say it, but having to say it and being taken, care, being taken care of by others. That does not have to be you. That certainly does not have to be you. But you know what? Many cultures, and Caribbean culture, because I'm in Barbados, Caribbean cultures for sure, as soon as you reach a certain age, you don't even have to reach a certain age. Sometimes it's as young as the 30s, in their 30s. Person say, oh, well, you know, I'm old and I have to do this and I'm not going to get this when I get older and this is what's going to happen. And by the time you reach 60, you've already told yourself that for 30 years. When you are 60 and you realize, hey, this isn't too bad. What has already happened is your life expectancy does go down. Your mortality does go down. Your general overall health does go down. So is this a gloom and doom? No, because I I was like, nah, this can't just be a bad news um, podcast right now. This can't be just for bad news. So there is important and positive um, research. So again, this researchers went and did, let's see what happens if we let those older persons view and see in real life, like either on television or otherwise, what living agelessly and how healthy living, healthy aging can work. So whether it's not using the chronic, well, not using things that make you, that shorten your life, like smoking and drinking, overeating and staying still, sedentary lifestyle. As long as they saw even older persons in the same way that older persons see children, you know how that goes? And they just have a smile on their face and they seem like so much energetic. In the same way, if you see as an older person, over 60s when I'm talking, really, you start to see your peers, oh, they're riding bicycles, you can do that. Oh, they're going to the spa, you can do that. You don't have to do anything and break the bank. You can just stay home, soak your feet in the usual hot water, doctor's orders, of course. Take care of your nails. Take care of your nails. There are two things we miss out on that are so vital for our health. Taking care of our nails as you get older 
taking care of your gums as you get older. We'll talk more about that in another session, gum health and foot health. What I wanted you to think of is this new expression. So go around, ask your friends, what is your ERA? <laughs> They're going to look at you a little puzzled and think that you've lost it a little bit. But you're already asking them, what is your expectation? What do you want to get out of life as we're all getting older? As we have reached that point, well, those of your peers have reached the point of 60s, 70s, 80s. As a ger gerontologist, Mike, Aim is not just to see you when you are sick. Pain defeats the whole purpose, isn't it, of keeping you well. So we will talk and we talk about, with my clients for sure, and engage your doctor. Say, doc, I really want to have a better outlook on life. And doctors, fellow physicians, please encourage your patients by all means. What is your expectation regarding aging? Do you expect to just be sitting in a rocking chair until the Lord comes? You've got more to give than that. You have already given. We've talked about mentorship. We've talked about exercise. We've talked about peer group sessions. We've talked about family bonding. We've talked about generational gap bonding. We've spoken on caregivers. And all those things put together allow you to age or to think or to have the expectation that your aging will be beautiful it is a process not a disease remember it is a process not a disease anything that you can do to improve that process by all means do it so remember focus for this week what do they really expect what do I really expect out of my life as I'm 60, I'm 70, I'm 80? Hmm. Ask your doctor. Look things up. Talk with your friends who are in that same age category. And find ways, look for ways to start the discussion on how did we expect? We, we're not here. We're not as sick and, and down as we thought we would. Because mm -mm, 60 is new 50 and 50 is new 40, you know what I mean? We are better, we are healthy, we have something to contribute. Why not let's start a slight, maybe line dancing. It doesn't have to be circling around the globe, no. I know it's circling around the globe, that's for sure. But, I mean, whatever suits your fancy. But make sure that you connect with your peers. Talk about your expectations. Even the ones that were disappointed to you. But, but with a spin, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to go walking? Are we going to find a group that will go walking? Are we going to, because we may not want to go outside, venture outside too much, are we going to FaceTime and exercise? Are we going to make sure that each other is drinking enough water and hydrating? And then our mental outlook, whether that is in prayer and meditation and how you pray and where your service is, do that. It is for your good. We don't always want to see people at their last legs, at their sickness. It's kind of defeating. So the, but we do have to monitor you. But it's so nice, it's so much nicer to monitor uh, a doctor with a great mindset towards you. And from my end, it is beautiful to discuss health and wellness with a person whose mindset is towards, I expect and I would like and I manifest and I visualize myself feeling healthier, being healthy at this particular age. Let's fix the tweaks, sure, the little the joint pains, anything else that may crop up, high blood pressure, diabetes, don't worry about that. We can deal with that. We will help you to deal with it. But your mindset, your physical activity, your overall health, they all start from your mind. So what is your expectation? What is your visualization? Blah, blah, blah. What is your visualization for when you are older? Start now. It's not too late. It's never too late. As my grandma would say, as long as there's life, there's always another time. And as long as there's life, it's never too late. So I hope when next we talk to each other or when next we talk to your friends, your words are going to be, what's your ERA? And see what happens with the conversation. But well, my heart to yours, Dr. Nana, signing out. 
on this post. I think it's 163 or 4. I won't clarify, but even so, it's a beauty and a pleasure chatting with you. And the more positive we can make this, the better. So have a wonderful night, day, weekend. It's going to be a public holiday on Monday here in Barbados. Woohoo! Looking forward for that. Have a wonderful day. Again, from my heart to yours, Dr. Anna signing out saying, have a wonderful ERA. Have a wonderful DAY. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. And smile. Uh oh, and drink some water. The days are getting hot. So smile. Bye bye. Mwah.